guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. So as you may or may not know, CMU version 1.8.2 has now gone into full public release, which means it is available for everybody to use for free. It will be linked down in the description along with my full setup guide video showing you exactly what you need to do from start to finish in order to get it working on your system. In this video, I'm going to cover exactly what has changed between versions 1.8.1 .1 and version 1.8.2b. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give you the changes that the developer of CMU itself has given us and what his observations on performance increases have been. Okay, so firstly, he has seen performance improvements of 2 to 4% across the board, but this is also hardware dependent. Softdeck video support is now in the game, which means that any video that doesn't need H.264 should now work. Audio improvements have also been now implemented. Splatoon volume issues are gone, for an example, and also a tool to make audio debugging easier in the future has been added to CMU. Nintendo Land and Star Fox Zero now work again. Other games may also work due to these fixes, but more testing is required in order to see this. Mii Maker now boots, and the day-night cycle bug present in Xenoblade Chronicles in 1.8.1 is now also fixed. The fixes that addressed the crashing in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in 1.8.1 T1 have been implemented into 1.8.2, meaning that most of the crashes that were present in the game in the previous version are now fixed. A side effect of this fix seems to have been more frequent blood moons, but more testing is required to figure out if this is the case. You can now hover your cursor on the corner of the CMU window and resize it to a size fitting your needs. And finally, the Mario Tennis graphics bug has been fixed, meaning that the diagonal line of black texture is now no longer present in this game and it is now fully playable. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.